Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel with myself Isabella. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today is a really fun video because obviously as you guys know who follow me on Instagram, I released some of the very old footage of when I was in my second year on Instagram. So some of the class clips and this was amazing for me because somebody who was on the Vaganova conference was like, I think I have videos of you. And she came a couple of years, so a couple of times. And so she witnessed in my second year that I was very much on the sidebar, still gaining strength, still had a lot to achieve and learn. And she kind of decided to film quite a lot of our class and quite a lot of me as well and document that. That was so incredible. And then she came back two years later and was able to witness how I'd moved to the center as this English girl who's gone onto the center bar and how much I'd improved. And so that's really amazing that she was able to witness that. And the fact she'd filmed these classes, probably she wasn't really supposed to, but she has, is also amazing because there's not, there's not much class footage out there that's a non-exam. I have also shared some from our exam rehearsal, but this is very much a normal day. I think we're obviously going through some of the exam combinations, but there's a lot of mistakes, a lot of fumbles. And so I thought this would be a really nice and great video to share with you all. And just also, so you can see that like, I've definitely got a lot to work on, but you can also see the potential and why they may have taken such an interest in me at the time. So these are just clips, so I've just strung them together. So they're definitely, it's not a whole class scenario, but we can see and I'll obviously comment on what I think. Nice pour de bra with the attitude, very difficult. Wobble wobble with the ankles. On verse. What I was already quite impressed with myself at this point was, um, I had obviously done a year here, so I'd already really started to grasp the technique. And so you can also you can already see like I've learned the rules of the exercises, the rules of each movement. It's all very, very clear. I'm I'm very much one with the Russian girls now, like I don't look like a foreigner really. I mean I don't think so. But I still had a lot to learn, but there's a lot of potential. I think probably the improvement from this year into the previous year, when I first arrived, is probably drastic because the summer before this year I had um, had an ankle injury from my first year, so I was stretching a lot and so this was the year I came back and my legs were suddenly much higher, but I still needed to gain quite a lot of strength. My pirouettes had improved greatly after this point, like they were it, again, it was pretty basic with the pirouettes, um, sort of getting to grips with the with the rules. But I remember after this year, Gennady Solutsky said to me, you know, you need more energy when you turn. It's very slow, like it's clean, but it's very slow and lacking in energy. So this um, girl in front in the shorts is now a, um, principal with the Stanislavski Ballet and the Japanese girl who was with me before who I'll point her out she's now um, a principal at K Ballet, Sena Hidaka. So it's really nice always to know like where people end up. Rombat Mon. So Sena behind Ksenia here is now principal at K Ballet. But again the heads are all clear and also you can see that the muscles above my legs have developed by now because obviously I was um, I was held back a year as you guys know. Oh, good arabesque turn there, just a bit um, too low. It's also nice to hear her voice behind. So I didn't quite have the strength to lift my legs in grab positions yet, you know, um, and keep them up. Like it was still hard for me to keep legs up. Oh, messy landing. Um, but everything seems much clearer. And you can also see that, um, oh, we're trying again. <laughs> you can also see that um, the muscles above my legs have developed because obviously I was held back a year to, I had to repeat the year again so that I gained more muscle because I had done such a huge growth spurt. So that was clean. So already by this year, 
um, you can see I've developed, I've got more muscle in my legs, which is really crucial. And my technique is solid and strong and clean. Oh, there's Maria Gravanova walking around. She was obviously in a good mood today because people were watching, but she can be super scary as well. So there I am, I'm on the left, if you're watching. I'm just, it's just nice for me, like I'm, I'm impressed, like I've really grasped the technique by now. Using the floor. I actually do chalk some of this technique to my time at the Royal Ballet School because they made a huge deal about brushing the floor, using the floor, and I think Maria had just said, well done, Isabella. It's funny, okay, I haven't actually mentioned this before. Oh, I love this exercise. Clean heads. All the exercises are just so structured and clean. You can't make the exercises too fast when you're this young because, you know, it's literally for that purpose. You have to develop the muscle, develop the strength. Like look at these landings in the Cisson. We have to make sure there's no double bouncing, plie, one plie to finish, one plie to push off. Super important. And then you get a very strong technique. I was just going to say, I look a little bit like I would suit the Paris Opera even, like uh, in this short skirt, long legs. See, so look how she's demonstrating the combination. Super clear head. Oh, tap. <laughs> nice. I do, I do miss this time so much. Ah, see, that's so interesting. Let, let's go back. And you can notice how I'm doing the Paco wrong at the, here. So, obviously I haven't grasped, grasped this totally. So you're supposed to go Paco step jeté. And you can say, see Ksenia in front is doing it correctly, but I'm looking away too soon. So let's play this again. See, I'm looking away too soon, and all the other girls are looking away when they step, so I did not um, get that right just then. But everything else is, is on its way. But these little, little things like heads, you know, it's just hard to grasp sometimes. Oh, we did it again. <laughs> She did make us do it a few times. So for me it was difficult on these all these in-between steps. Oh nice. Very specific Tom de Flesh. Um it was it was very difficult to me to do for me to do um glissades, you know, and the teacher later the next year said, You look like a crab, Isabella, because she gave me so much attention. And obviously I hadn't really been reminded in this year too much about that. See, I'm just a little bit weak in the in the feet as well and in the pirouettes, like, at this point. So, you know, the foot at the retiré rela is relaxing on the way down when it should be really holding strength. Um, but you learn so much from watching yourself when you do the exams and when you do these classes. Like, you, of course you must watch yourself so you can see your errors. And instantly, if I saw my foot doing that, it'd be like, oh, okay, I need to correct this. But it's just so funny how a class can change when you change teachers, you know? I think I'm repeating this clip again, but never mind. Uh, I think this is where Grabanova says, you, go over there as well, shoo. <laughs> Hilarious. And even though my positions was, were nice, so my grogete looked really nice at this point, um, what was lacking was the glissade. Again, it just looks like I'm slightly crawling. It was so difficult for me to control my legs. But my legs have gotten higher this year. Which is like, good, well done. This is the center and there's another Japanese girl in front. So we were put in a little foreigners group there. <laughs> Oh, and now I think this is like a spontaneous scrunch of, you know, Padashar exercise, and so not all of us know what we're doing. That's me in 
front. A nice height, good. I think we're approaching the end of class now. But it's it's nice to see that my muscles have grown quite a bit. And I'm stronger. <laughs> When's the exercise finishing? Pour de bra. Everyone works very hard. Lovely fourth arabesque. You can imagine, like, you know, being in the studio, doing this every day, looking at the other Russian girls. You know, it just becomes very clear and you just grasp how to do it, basically, like a baby. And you obviously have to work very hard and be very open to the information. You have to try your best. Because this was all completely new to me. But I'd already learned a huge amount in a year. Already making more sense. two years even more but again I was very much just the English girl who's coping but we can see potential let's see what happens and then into our reverence oh it's just so nice for me to look back and I can't thank uh, this follower enough and obviously a lot of you have seen the Vaganova footage of my exams so of the graduation year so let me know if you can see a difference let me know if you can see the development you can see that I'm just like a little bit more out of control but to be honest the difference between my third year to then the last year was huge even though I had to take a lot of time off for my back injury I worked so hard honestly you can't even imagine so hard on my rehab and just did like eight hours a day of rehab and conditioning that I went back just so much more in my body and much stronger I was turning faster the positions were clearer like I honestly did came back much 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 stronger than before so just remember like if you're injured no time is wasted and it's an opportunity to get better and to grow but yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you can you know see a difference and this is already I'm already much stronger here like I wish we could go back even further I do have footage of before I grew a lot so I was I was looking relatively relatively strong then but definitely not flexible then because I wasn't flexible I'd been stretching a lot in that summer but then and it's like the few years before this year, I'd gone through a huge growth spurt, so I was definitely lacking in a lot of strength. But there you can already see the muscles in my thighs had grown a lot, which was good because they used to look like pipe cleaners. And now there's like a bit of definition there, hence why I look a little bit stronger. So it's all a journey. And so, you know, there's so many years where I just felt like I can't do anything. Like I'm, I'm just so lanky, but you just got to keep going and keep being consistent and work on your limitations. You can't compare yourself to someone who's like five foot two because they're gonna be much stronger than you, much faster. So you, you gotta do a lot of work if you're taller and vice versa, if you're smaller, there's there's pros and cons to every size and height. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel because I know a lot of you guys watched and haven't actually subscribed. So if you wanna see more from me and you don't wanna miss anything, click that subscribe button. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. And I really look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.